Hey folks, Thomas here. Welcome back to Muse Lab. In today's episode, we are going to be uh, making some planks for my next guitar amp, which I'm planning on making uh, a combo amplifier next. Up till this point, I've made separate cabs and heads and I haven't really made a combo yet, so. Um, yeah, I just wanted to use up some of this lumber that I had left over from a, a project a couple of years ago. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna make the planks out of this stuff. So I just pulled all that up. It's been out there for, wow, geez, probably about a year or more at least anyways. That was a platform I used to set my tent up on. And then anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna repurpose the planks here. So I'm cutting them to 21 inches in length. And uh, these aren't pine and these aren't spruce. Um, uh, I'm not really sure what they are. Something tells me that they were juniper but they can't be juniper uh, something that starts with a J I can't remember what it is but anyways uh, I seem to recall that uh, this wood is is light kind of like pine and spruce is and but it's a little bit stronger than that it's a little bit harder than those woods whatever it is um, I got it from a, a mill down east here uh, where I live on in Prince Edward Island and the east coast of Canada Anyhow, yeah, so I got a whole whack of those uh, planks there. They're about eight inches wide and about maybe an inch and maybe five eighths or so thick. And they're all 21 inches long and I don't know, there's at least a dozen or so of them there. So yeah, I'm gonna put them on my table saw here now and just cleaning it off there. Just sanding it down, making sure it's all nice and flat and making sure the blade's nice and level and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, so anyhow, I'm just gonna shave a little bit off one side of the planks here and with the goal of making them all really nice and square and the same sort of an idea. So yeah, I'm just shaving a, a tiny little bit off of the edge of each one of these boards here and stacking them all up one at a time. And uh, once this is done, then I'm gonna flip them around and I'm gonna start to cut them to the, to the final width that they're gonna be, which is I'm aiming for two and a half inches wide for each one. And uh, when they're all done, then I'll like, uh, I'll like glue them all together so I can have some wider planks to work with and they'll all be really nice and square and the same size. So yeah, here I am, I'm cutting them down to two and a half inches wide here now. And uh, yeah, it's coming along pretty good. Yeah, yeah, look, looking pretty nice there. <laughs> yeah, so I can, um, uh, I'm cutting them two and a half inches wide because I can get uh, two of them out of each one of those uh, sort of wider boards. And you might wonder, why didn't I just, you know, leave the boards the way that they were? Well, the reason why is because I can't true up the the wide faces on them whenever they're that wide. If they're like already eight inches wide or so, um, or six or seven inches wide or whatever, I can't make them uh, nice and square on the other side. So I have to make them a little uh, shorter like this first, that I can make them all really nice and square, and then I'll reattach them all together. And, uh, and it'll look really cool too. And uh, yeah. So here we are, see I've got them flipped over and I'm just uh, now I'm kind of doing the same thing as I did the first time. So I'm just taking off one side of each board. And so at this point, um, each one of those boards has three, uh, after this cut here I'm making, each board has three really nice square and relatively true faces. You know, they, they're not as clean and tight as they would be like if I used a jointer and a planer and all that sort of good stuff, but I don't have those. So this is about the best that I can do. So I, I uh, use my uh, little rigid table saw here and I just take my time and, and I use my tools and, and yeah, I just try to be real careful how I make my cuts and it generally works out pretty good, you know? And uh, then I get to use like a, a hand plane afterwards and a sander to clean it up with. And I, I think it leaves a pretty nice result. So here we go here. I'm, uh, I've got the, the boards and now I'm cutting them to uh, half of the thickness that they were before. And uh, I'm uh, aiming to cut them at three quarters of an inch thick. So the final boards will be 21 inches long and three quarters of an inch thick and two and a half inches wide. And uh, with the idea being that I, once I glue them together, I'm gonna glue together four boards at a time, and then I'll have uh, 10 inch panels that are three quarters of an inch thick and 21 inches long. And uh, the reason I'm going for that is because the dimensions of the cabinet that I wanna make for the combo amp that I have uh, in mind is, uh, I wanna make it 20 inches wide and about 18 inches high 
And I was at first aiming for 12 inches in depth, but you know what? I think that uh, 10 inch depth is actually quite nice. So I think maybe I'll just kind of stick with that and, and it works better for these boards. Um, you know, I could instead go with uh, five boards wide, but that's 12 and a inch, 12 and a half inches. And I'm, then I'm gonna have a little bit of leftover waste wood and I don't really want that. So I think I'll stick with that. So uh, anyhow here, uh, I'm just about at the end of the video, so I think I'll wrap this up. And uh, yeah, I just want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button. And uh, of course, you can subscribe to the Mirrors Lab channel for more videos like this. And uh, be sure to stay tuned uh, for more videos on this project where I'm making a tube guitar amplifier all from scratch here. And uh, thanks again. I'll see you later, folks.